Good morning everyone. This is another session on palmistry and in this video we will be discussing about this palm. Now this palm has a lot of different features compared to the other palms and it will it is peculiar in its own way and that's why I'll be you know discussing about this palm. Now first of all look at the size of the palm. The size of the palm looks very very large. Okay, the palm looks ep extremely long and what we mean by whenever the palm is extremely long that someone especially if you see the palm size kind of look rectangular okay and if you see there is a small bulge on the side as well so this definitely means or indicates towards a person who can be a bit sensitive okay because if if the palm is kind of rectangular and long now this adds on to the sensitivity of the person also you can see a side bulge okay especially around the region of passive mars so this guy uh, this person is not likely to be you know uh, aggressive straight away but will be passively getting ahead because the passive mars is you know kind of developed more now going ahead if you look into his you know hand you can clearly see a sister line if you can see uh, I've placed it this is known as the sister line if you can clearly mark you know and this person says that he you know he feels always protected and I was quite lucky at times now this is known as this is a typical sister lifeline this adds on to the uh, you know uh, this adds on to the strength of the lifeline in general and is generally given good it's also found in people who are slightly more spiritual and religious and also found in people who are more protective in some or the other way uh, they are protected from any of the disasters or you know it's some kind of a protection it's always con considered to be a good marking also you will see that initially there are few islands in the palm this person did say that you know he had certain problems initially okay um, uh, the person uh, had few frustrations as a kid and all those kind of things but and that because of which the person became independent quite early so you can see the break on the life and the headline quite early and which shows that you know the person became independent quite early in his life and if you'll time it this will come to be around the age of 14 or 15 where the person started thinking very independently okay now going ahead with another interesting feature about this palm is that you know you look into the heart line the heart line goes exactly parallel it does not go up it is like a parallel or a straight line and this person also says he finds difficulty in trying to express his inner more desires or feelings and especially his uh, uh, you know emotional feelings it becomes extremely difficult for this person to be very expressive about his emotional feelings and you can clearly see that from the straight heart line whenever you have the straight hard line you you know but the person is extremely care, you know caring and emotional and you know that point uh, you know also can be seen from the hand if you'll see carefully the person has two heart lines you can see another faint heart line going across and you know uh, that's why the person is over protected about um, emotions but nevertheless it becomes very difficult for this person to express his emotional feelings now look into the thumb the thumb is like it faces you and it's it's kind of large okay and you have the you know you have the bump here and you have the bump over here also okay you can see an angle coming so this person is actually good in racket games and apart from that the person is also very good in you know uh, quite cultured and I would say the person is good in uh, selecting things okay the person is you know understands beauty understands refineness and that's uh, and that's uh, you know whenever you see this angle to be coming out the person becomes very refined also looking at the Mount of Venus the Mount of Venus gives a very good look it is pinkish and large and this makes the person extremely sympathetic and also very very you know refined in his taste okay now looking into the fingers now look at the Saturn finger the Saturn finger is very tall and other two fingers are equal in length this confirms that this person takes life quite seriously and also is good in psychology the person is serious okay and will be uh, able to understand others well can be quite responsible okay and also can be very good in judging other people and that is the core quality of Saturn Saturn loves uh, a bit of gloom also at times can be very responsible and again you can see a typical effect known as the drop down finger again you can see the small finger dropping down this will confirm that this person is naturally a bit shy okay so uh, that we can find out now uh, you know if we go into another view okay now here 
here you can clearly see the double heart line can you see one heart line and then you see ha having another heart line which has a small island initially now this island is also under the mount of mercury now this says or this can mean that this person can have some problems in mercury and traits astrologically it can mean mercury is not that well placed okay it can also mean that the person has some kind of a health problem related to maybe lungs or maybe uh, uh, maybe uh, you know respiratory tract or something like that something on the top of your body okay and, and an island here can you can see an island right an island can also indicate towards you know stress maybe intellectual diminish you know intellectually the person is not progressing it can mean business problems so or anything like that something related to mercury qualities okay there is some kind of a frustration towards some of the mercury qualities and you can see clearly a island form here and you can see a double heart line going across so this person is extremely emotional as well as sensitive okay and uh, you know if you uh, this person is something like if you say something wrong to him uh, he takes uh, it too seriously and uh, it becomes difficult also you can see a lot of random lines all over the palm if you clearly see there are a lot of random lines over this part and again the person gets confused and, and uh, full of anxiety from time to time now if you look into the this side of venus you can see a lot of horizontal bars okay you can see a lot of horizontal bars cutting the vertical lines now these are nothing but the stress lines and the person does claim that he has a lot of stress okay so uh, and that is uh, again a uh, you know general analysis of this palm and you can again see a mercury line coming across okay that is also they have very long headline which will mean that the person is extremely practical and analytical again a, uh, in totality we can say a serious person sensitive person overly protective person analytical person okay and you can see from lifelines a lot of lines rising which means that the person will get success from time to time also the person is quite stressful has a lot of protection as we saw from the sister lifeline okay and we saw that the mount of venus is doing extremely well which will make the person sympathetic as well as very very caring so hopefully you got few more points in this video you got the concepts of double heart line and you saw it in this video also you saw the island on the mount of mercury hopefully you got few more uh, you know points from this video i'm shwetank into palmistry do check my channel for more thank you take care have a great day bye bye